Hi, I'm Tommy Troll, sommelier and wine director at Peppervine. Today, let's talk about the reds of Bordeaux's left bank, shall we? Bordeaux is the birthplace of many of the world's most famous grapes, notably Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Cabernet Franc, Petit Verdot, and several others. The first vineyards were planted there 2,000 years ago, and it rose to global prominence in the Middle Ages with the marriage of Eleanor of Aquitaine and Henry Plantagenet, which I believe was the last time the French and British were able to agree on anything. In the 1600s, the Dutch restructured some marshland on the southwestern side that became the Madoc. And within a couple hundred years, that same area became the site of the world's most famous Cabernet Sauvignon, from the tiny appellations of saint Estef, Poyac, Margot, and saint Julien. But what are these wines like? What's the difference between them? And maybe most importantly, how do you start drinking them? The obvious answer being, with your mouth. These four appellations are part of Bordeaux's left bank, which is known for its chunky gravel soils. Cabernet Sauvignon takes a long time to ripen, and those gravel soils retain heat to help it do that. Moreover, it drains well. Bordeaux can be rainy, and that keeps the soil from staying too cold. We'll talk about the much different right bank in another video. Going from north to south, the first appellation we'll talk about is saint Steph. It used to be that saint Steph required a lot of time in bottle before drinking, as the tannins were tough enough to make your tongue weep. Modern winemaking techniques and a healthy dose of smooth Merlot in the blend has made these wines much more approachable. These wines are rich, deep, and will last longer than styrofoam. Below that is Poyac, which is only a hop over a small stream away, sort of. There's a fair amount of diversity within the wines of Poyac, but there are a few hallmarks. Fine grain tannins, black currant and cedar aromas, and a touch of cocoa. Margot is lighter and more perfumed than the other appellations. Gentle, sensitive even. It is home to one of the most creatively named chateaux in all of Bordeaux, Chateau Margot. It's also the largest appellation of the big four. If you don't like for your Cabernet Sauvignon to smack you in the face, this is a great place to start. Finally, we come to saint Julien. If California Cabernet is your thing, saint Julien is your bridge to the original cabs. They lean toward being slightly fruitier with cherry chocolate flavors without losing any of Bordeaux's characteristic complexity. And there you have it, Bordeaux's left bank in less than three minutes. If you're ready to start drinking Left Bank Bordeaux, ignore what anyone tells you about vintage year or growth classification and find a wine from any of these four appellations that fits your price range. Steak, lamb, roasted potatoes, burgers, any rich savory dishes are a natural pair. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at Peppervine.